Attack on Titan, 10 characters who failed to kill Eren. Eren had enemies from start to finish in Attack on Titan, but though so many tried, none of them could take him out until the very end. Eren is the main character of Attack on Titan, and throughout the manga, many people tried to kill him. In the beginning of the series, it was mostly the enemies of parody and those who feared Eren's Titan abilities that wanted him dead. However, by the end of the series, he became an antagonist himself, and a lot of his former comrades fought against him. Despite so many characters wanting him to die, most of the ones that tried to do anything about it didn't succeed. 10. Kits tried to kill Eren when he found out he was a Titan. For years, Eren had no idea that he had inherited the founding and attacked Titans from his father. When he was eaten at Trost, he transformed and those around him were shocked to see that a Titan was on his side. However, other people were scared of him and thought he was a threat, such as Kits, a captain of the garrison. He ordered his soldiers to kill Eren, along with Armin and Mikasa for trying to protect him. Luckily, he was stopped by Commander Pixis. 9. Nile tried to convince the military to kill Eren. Similar to Kits, Nile, the commander of the military police, wanted to kill Eren when it was first discovered that he was a Titan shifter. Not knowing what to do with him right away, the military held a trial to determine Eren's fate. Nile spoke for his branch of the military, telling the others that they should dissect Eren in order to learn more about the Titans. And then, kill him. Luckily, Levi proved that he could keep Eren in his place, allowing him to live and become a soldier in the Survey Corps. 8. Reiner wanted to kill Eren after capturing him. For years, it was Reiner's goal, as well as the other warriors, to bring the founding titan to Marley. When he learned that Eren was the founding titan, he figured he could convince his friend to help him and revealed his identity as the armored titan. However, Eren refused to join him, so Reiner, along with Bertholdt, captured him. They originally didn't want to kill Eren, but after understanding that Eren would never comply, they knew that he needed to die in order to finish the mission. But no matter how many times they fought, Reiner was never able to kill his former friend. 7. Rod wanted Historia to eat Eren so she could inherit the Founding Titan. Before Eren inherited the Founding Titan, Grisha stole it from the Rice family and killed most of them. The only survivor in the attack was Rod, the King of Parody. Not wanting to become a Titan shifter himself, Rod tried to get his daughter, Historia, to eat Eren. Though, it seemed that she had trusted him at first. Historia refused to help her father and eat her friend, saving Eren's life instead. Desperate, Rod turned himself into a titan and attacked his own nation, causing Historia, Eren, and their comrades to kill him. 6. Lara tried to defeat Eren when he attacked Marley. Lara Tiber was the inheritor of the Warhammer Titan. When she and her family had gone to Marley to reveal the truth of the Great Titan War to the world, Eren killed her brother, Willy, along with many other people around them. Lara fought against Eren, but wasn't able to defeat him. Using her hardening abilities, she formed a crystal around her body, which Eren was able to break by using the teeth of Porco's jaw titan. He then ate Lara and obtained her powers. 5. Magath led the Marleyan military against Eren. Theo Magath was the general of Marley's military. When Eren invaded them, Magath was the first person to shoot him. He then told his soldiers that rather than retaking the founding titan as they had previously planned, they would kill Eren instead. However, Eren was able to escape from Marley without Magath managing to do anything to him. Shortly after, Marley invaded Parody, with Magath teaming up with Peak. He was able to shoot Eren, but still barely did anything to him. 4. 
Porco wanted to inherit the founding titan so he could prove his worth as a warrior. Porco felt ashamed that he was used by Eren to inherit the Warhammer Titan. He wanted to prove that he was worthy of being one of Marley's warriors for years and figured that he could do so if he could defeat Eren and the Survey Corps. When Marley invaded Parody, Porco teamed up with Reiner to fight Eren. However, during the battle, Zeke turned all of the Eldians in the area that drank his spinal fluid into Titans. Including Falco, who ate Porco shortly after. 3. Gabby shot Aaron in the head and still failed to kill him. After Porco died, Aaron knew that he finally had his opportunity to come into contact with Zeke and go to the coordinate so he could begin the rumbling. As he escaped from Reiner and ran over to his older brother, Gabby shot him in the head, decapitating him. If it weren't for Zeke catching Aaron's head at the last second, he would have died. However, because Zeke managed to catch it, Aaron was revived and started his final attack on humanity. 2. Peek tried to blow up Aaron's neck. Peek wanted to kill Aaron from the first time she saw him. Unlike most of the other warriors, she had no personal connection to him, which caused her to only see him as an enemy. Towards the end of the manga, she caught up to Aaron at Fort Salta with the soldiers and warriors. She ran away from them and towards Aaron's neck, intending to blow it up as she figured he wasn't using the Warhammer Titan's ability of being able to choose where he was inside of his Titan. However, before she could attack, previous inheritors of the Nine Titans stopped her. 1. Jean was actually able to blow up Aaron's neck. Jean and Aaron were rivals for years before becoming friends. However, despite how close they became and helped each other, Jean knew that he needed to fight Aaron when the rumbling began. After Peek was attacked, it was up to him to blow Aaron's neck up. As he did it, he thought back on how he always called Aaron a suicidal blockhead. Though Aaron's head was torn from the source of all living matter, which Reiner then fought against, he still managed to survive. <laughs>